live from Austin, where spatial computing certifiably tells you that it's going to be a great night. Now adjust your 4K screens, because here are your hosts, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Young. Has anyone seen Brian? Wait, he did, did he? Did we get the? Did the? Is there? Te, is iMessage get, down? Did we get Brian? Are the blue? Where Has the anyone blue? got eyes on Brian? Brian? Eyes Brian. on Brian? No. Bri- no. no. Any? Could have okay. sworn. I thought. I thought I heard him. I thought I heard him. Bryce, didn't you say he was here? I. May have. We're gonna begin my one man show. Oh no. Oh he's. Oh, oh he's loose. Oh, the juice is loose. Born in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, no. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Great Night. This is a, a show where we are all going to get through together because <laughs> our friend Brian Brushwood is under the weather. However, uh, there is there is a great show to be had. We have some special uh, uh, a special story for you that is going to be a delight to everybody. But before we get to that, yeah, let's. Reestablish our crew here, Bryce. Where I'm gonna be leaning on you guys a lot more. Yeah. Normally there's a Brian here. Usually you have a whole other I don't know guy. If you there. Met Brian. He doesn't have a problem talking. No, he, he lo- just talks he, all the time. He loves yeah. it. Yeah, he loves this shit. You okay. think it was air to that man? But he, but no. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to rely on on you guys, Bryce. Uh, 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 what do we? What are we? What's going on? Hey, man. Uh, uh, do you want to see a funny video? I do. I I don't I don't know what's going on in the world. Yeah. I, you would wait, like at all? Uh, when I watch something like this, like, like from from, <laughs> you know, like like ten being the confusion of a Tim Robinson character, and one <laughs> being somebody who knows everything about the world in a telekinetic way. Where are you at? I feel like normally I'm at a I'm at a four or five. Normally okay. I'm at a four or five. Okay. But then I watch this clip, and I go, oh, maybe I'm like at a. Two. So Maybe you I'm are like at a one or a two. Yeah, I think we got that scale mixed up. But fine, go. Okay. All right, you're very confused. Very confused. I'm gonna play this for you. This is from Hoopify on TikTok. Libby just convinced Baby Gronk to commit to LSU. Baby Gronk is the number one college football prospect in the country. He averages 300 yards and five touchdowns a game on his visit. Just briefly, so everyone knows, Brave Baby Gronk appears to be a elementary school a child. child. A child. A child. To LSU, Libby rizzed him up. Livy even hugged Baby Gronk. He might be the new Riz King. Do you think Baby Gronk will lead LSU to a national championship? Uh, Bryce, I have very, very, very important questions to ask you. Okay, I'm happy to. Let's figure this out. Because I'm old. Uh, I turned 40. Mm. Uh, I've heard people use the phrase Riz. Yeah, okay. And I yes. don't know what Riz is. <laughs> I just kind of like go like, yeah, because I, I want to pretend to know what Riz is. But what is Riz? Uh, Riz is short for charisma. Uh, you, oh. You got the Riz. Oh, I got the Riz. All right, all right, all right. So so that, that was my first question because I have heard other uh, other people say Riz. Uh, uh, but let's break down... As Donald, oh, I'm going to use real, real contemporary references. Uh-oh. As Donald Rumsfeld described, there are unknown uh, unknowns uh, and known unknowns. Uh, so we have known, we have a lot of known unknowns here. Who's Livy? Oh, do you know who Livy is, or do you not know who Livy is? Of course, I know who Livy is. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and Brett knows who Livy is I too. Definitely, of course. Let no, no. I right, cut the shit. Okay. We're all fucking ancient. We are all slowly decaying uh, into this, uh, the the right. winds of time. We need to figure this out together, so we might make our way through this jungle of youth with our fucking eyeballs intact. I think she's an Instagrammer, Olivia Dunn, with uh, four point one million followers on Instagram. She rizzed him up. So. She's, She's you know, a very model. attractive lady who has a very attractive Instagram. Oh, and I guess, oh, you want to know what? I think, 
I might you remember you know her? her being covered. I think I've seen her before. Because I maybe she I've was at her before. she was famous for having a bunch of college athletes shoot their shots in her DMs. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. I almost had another question. Yeah. Okay. No, in, right. in the DMs. <laughs> and so she was one of those that would like name and shame, especially if they were from rival colleges, because she was a college athlete at LSU. Yeah. Mm. And so she's a big LSU backer. And so I think, I think if that is the same <laughs> attractive woman from LSU, of which I'm assuming they've created one. Uh, and she has an Instagram she, she's account. That, she's that one hot blonde. Yeah, there's, you know, there's that one, one hot that blonde one in hot the hot South. Blonde. That's it. They <laughs> only, yeah. They only, like, it's like, it's like a Highlander. Livy rizzed him up. Livy even hugged Baby Gronk. He might be the new Riz King. Do you what? think Baby Gronk will lead LSU to a national championship? The fucking TikTok accent. Who the fuck is this guy? Why are we talking about a <laughs> right. child? Getting rizzed? Rizz him yeah. up. He's the Riz and, King. And hey, could that kid look more uncomfortable? I don't think. Like, he's, he's just like, oh, uh, what? He's happened? getting, that's what it looks like to get rizzed. Yeah. Is this that, is what happens when you rizz your children. That's what it looks like to get rizzed. You can't All be right. rizzing in public. Yeah, no, you don't rizz Please public. don't rizz You know, public. Tucker Carlson's new Twitter show started tonight. Oh. Huh. While, we, while we were preparing. I, I signed up for the text messages, so I just got the text message, but we were doing our own show. Yeah. But I was trying to work on a Tucker Carlson impression because I think he's going to be famous during the election. So I, I think I kind of need a Tucker Carlson impression. Okay. Do you want to do you want to be like a, a debate moderator, Tucker, Tucker Carlson? Well, no, I just want to see if I can adopt some of that text into a Tucker Carlson monologue. <laughs> oh, I see. Because it, like the Tucker Carlson monologue is... Uh, uh, Welcome. Baby Gronk. There's a lot of people who believe that Baby Gronk is the new Riz King. And why wouldn't you? He got dapped up by Livy. And he's committed to LSU. Kind of sounds like Stossel. Kind We're, of still yeah, like Stossel. Stossel. Yeah. We're still in a proto Stossel. We're still in a proto Stossel. But I, I, I believe it's going to emerge from the primordial Stossolian soup mm -hmm. <laughs> and eventually be its own Tucker Carlson you, monologue. You need to have a little more of the confused, the consistent confusion. No, that's what everybody right. thinks. No, because that's him doing the interviews. Uh, him doing the interviews uh, is when he does the like. Like, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, he. I, I don't know. I, I spent a lot of time watching his speech patterns so I could... <laughs> Adapt it for content. I did you, hear it on P3. So yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. PX3. Do you think uh, that Tucker Carlson will be the new Riz King of Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is, is Tucker Carlson going to lead LSU to a national championship? <laughs> so wait, so this baby Gronk. So he he uh, I assume just has a dad that is just recording him dominating other eight year olds, and so now. Instagram people are just freaking out about it. Like, like, what what more information can we get on Baby Gronk here? Yeah. So this is uh, who I was reporting on this. Uh, footballscoop.com. Get Getting the scoop. Yeah. Uh, Baby Gronk is a character played by Madden San Miguel, a ten year old uh, as of this year who spent nearly half of his life turning his childhood into a brand. Here's another. Clip. This is uh, just imagine. But before I even show you, just imagine what it looks like when we watch nine-year-old gets play gets paid to play football already. Hashtag shorts. Just think about it in your mind. Okay. What nine-year-old gets paid to play football already? Hashtag shorts. Hashtag shorts. Okay. Now I'm assuming that the hashtag shorts is about the format and not the Club. attire of a nine-year-old. <laughs> That's right. Uh, well, this is. This is, first off, the clip. This is the thumbnail. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah. Oh, so sorry, it's here's a the... nine-year-old who is holding a stack of money and already has an iced-out chain. Mm -hmm. He is wearing a vintage Deion Sanders primetime T-shirt, Yeah. At which he is so young, he doesn't know Deion Sanders as the guy on TV, let alone Deion Sanders, the player, let alone Deion Sanders, the player on the Atlanta Falcons. That might as well be him wearing a Steamboat Willie t-shirt. He's wearing the, the Nirvana. That Nirvana is him wearing t -shirt. a train pulls into station t-shirt. 
<laughs> with that look that he's got right there, yeah. I, I can only think that he's probably got a really good version of the Super Bowl shuffle. I want to hear, <laughs> hear his version. Yeah. Something to do with the Bears. Okay, but already, all right, people in the chat are like, oh, he's a scumbag already. Yeah. Can we please? He's a child, first No, no, no. All, everything you're saying, their parents. That, like, everything that you want to say about this nine-year-old, say about their parents. Because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He's just being handed a gigantic pile of money. And he's getting necklaces put on him. And they're taking these pictures and videos. So here we go. Can you see that the necklace says Baby Gronk? But Baby is really small and Gronk is really big. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. There it is. Here's the clip. This fourth grader is already committed to Oregon. This is Madden San Miguel, better known as Baby Gronk. Baby Gronk. I'm the number one third grader in America. Uh, At just nine years old, Baby Gronk is already five inches taller and 30 pounds heavier than the average kid. What? And it shows. <laughs> Rather than playing Fortnite after school, this kid spends his time pulling Escalades and getting swole. And this dude absolutely mosses everyone in his way. This viral middle schooler is so good, he's averaging six touchdowns per game and is the youngest player to ever have an NIL deal. Although he's committed to Oregon, Madden has been busy constantly visiting other top programs like LSU, just... <laughs> Oklahoma State, Texas a and and many more. But this fourth grader is already on the radar of every Division I program in the nation. Not only that, he's already raking in over $50,000 in NIL money from Champs Sports. Damn. Is Baby Gronk the real deal? What the fuck? Like, what is this brand of video? It's the TikTok accent, right? You, you've heard that before, right? Well, I mean, it does seem, it actually kind of feels very classic YouTube of mm. start with a premise, like a bunch of like, like it's basically like every uh, uh uh what culture or not what culture what uh, uh mojo watch mojo oh yeah where yeah. it's like uh uh Top Danny, 10. De Danny DeVito is a great actor with many memorable performances. Here's his top five: the Penguin, this Penguin menaced Batman in Batman Returns. Uh. You know, blah blah yeah. blah. Other other Danny DeVito, and then it ends with what's your favorite Danny DeVito? Like, like and subscribe and comment. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. All right. So Baby Gronk. Baby he fucking Gronk. An LSU and Livy dapped him up and risen him king. Hey, uh well uh, let me let me uh, uh uh take a little audible here because there is something that we do need to get out there. We're we're gonna riz you up. Oh yeah. Yes. We're gonna riz you. Do the do the do the do the Saturday night. Do the riz. uh oh by the way, you know uh uh up. They uh, on the Conan O'Brien podcast, they are reading the script that was written for uh, the Hans and Franz characters, oh. a movie that was never made that uh, stars through almost the entire movie Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> and shockingly was not made. Uh, the key to the movie revolves around Roger Ebert having all of his flab pumped into Hans and Franz. It is an unhinged <laughs> fucking script. What a, and they were, and they, what a pot shot. They stopped through all of it, and they're like, so who was going to talk to Roger Ebert to get this made? Yeah. They're like, how would you have walked into the room and said, the entire movie revolves around your flab being pumped out of you? <laughs> I think there's a line where the bad guy says, uh, uh, yes, we will make you flabby, Hans and Franz, thanks to this massive critic. <laughs> oh, massive. Oh, my God. Anyway, Remember when you we're going to riz you up. Mm. Yeah. The, uh, at the end of this month, June, let's say 30th, but we're going to give some time on either side. So we have uh, partnered with a great app called Gigstan, G-I-G-S-T-A-N. Yep. What they're going to do is promote and book a show for us in Austin at the end of this month, what? probably June 30th. So uh, just plan for June 30th. Yep. What? But anyway, what we need for you to do. What do we do? Is go to Gigstan, get the app. It's app. available. Uh, search for events in Austin. Search for Great Night. You can buy a ticket right now. Based on those ticket sales, we will then be able to uh, hammer out all the details. It's going to be a really fun live show. We're bringing special guests. Ooh. It's going to be an absolute blast. 
So uh, head on over there right now. Download the app Gigstan, like Afghana's cousin. <laughs> like it's Gigstan. <laughs> like, like a gig. Yeah. And gig is a is a thing that happens. And standing. Stan, you know, like you're writing a letter to Eminem hey, and uh, uh, go the ahead don't and know buy that, that ticket. They don't know the hey Stan. They don't know Stan. They don't know the reality, the where Stan comes from anymore. Who who does? The kid. Baby kids. Gronk. The kid. Baby Gronk does not know. Baby hey Stan. Gronk Baby. does not know where Stan comes from. No. He doesn't even know where living. He thinks that that's where that song is, and not Dido. <laughs> he doesn't know Dido. He doesn't know Dido. <laughs> Baby Gronk doesn't know Dido. No Dido. You don't know Dido. Don't know Dido. Dido's committed to LSU. Anyway. <laughs> Do you believe that Dido will bring LSU a national championship? Uh, so there we go. Gig oh, scan. Yeah, uh, uh, guys, I know this is... Look, it sounds like a lot of process. It's fucking Eventbrite. It's the exact same idea. So buy just tickets. go, download it, buy tickets. We will have more details as uh, uh, things come along. Yeah. But June 30th. Just <laughs> It's going to be June 30th. But anyway, buy tickets. We're going to figure it out. It's gonna be June thirtieth. <laughs> um, uh, what else? What else is popping, Brett? Uh, Brett, what's popping? Uh, I can. So something. Didn't you have? Weren't you having an issue? Oh yeah. Will you Will you tell us about it? You were having an issue. I was having an issue. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I no, was issue. having an issue. I was. Uh. Shit. What what kind of issue was it? I was having? well, I think Brett was having an internet issue. Oh, at a, it was not good, me at a specific oh, well, time. It was me. Brett. Brett, I tossed I, to you. Sorry, it's I, okay. I thought you were Brett. Then tossed right to me. I was like, if it's a potato. Let's. Toss I had it no idea where to go. <laughs> so, now we all know how bad uh, of an improver I am. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because. Brett. Brett handed it to me, and I'm like, like, no, I have sure. no idea what's Tell going me on. About this thing that happened to me. Yes, yes. Go uh, ahead, Brett. Uh, 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 one of the jobs that I have, I one of your eight people. jobs. One of my jobs. I have many jobs. Uh, I, I interview people, and I had a really funny moment happen the other day uh, where we were deep into the interview where, you know, I have my series of questions that I ask, find out about the person, kind of yes and with them, do a little bit of improv, find out who they are. And then uh, after I ask, tell me why I should hire you, uh, they give me that answer. And then I have the question, do you feel like you're a lucky person? Do you and feel lucky, comma, punk? No, no. Do you no. feel like you are a lucky person? And uh, is this a standard question that you this, ask? It's a standard question that I ask. OK. Yeah, because that lets me know a little bit more about them, mm -hmm. how they see themselves. And the guy, I, he took a he took a breath to really he's like, huh? And he goes, well, I think and my Internet went out Oh. And it, it dropped the call. <laughs> oh, Holy no. shit. Right. So to him, it looked like you hung up on him. Yes. You're That's feeling lucky, amazing. Punk? Click. It really was. So Wait, and this was like, a well, job I interview? Click. This so, was this I, was a job interview? Yes, it was. Oh All right, Bryce. <laughs> Let's say that happens yes. to you. Okay, yeah. Do you believe that you are definitely getting the job or definitely not getting the job? Because we can all agree it's one of the two. Right. It is It is a flat binary. Either that dude fucking Ooh. hates you or we are now best <laughs> friends so much so that we're already playing pranks. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm, I, I got anxiety. I would think I could lost the job. I would think I had yeah. fucked up. I think... Yeah, I would you think, think that's the, the kind of shit that's appropriate to do during <laughs> like even if you don't if you don't want to give somebody a job that you can pull shit like that. I've seen worse. Uh, I think I you've guess, seen worse. Yeah. What? How? What worse? What I've worse? Seen worse where a manager will will tell you make you sit for two hours waiting for the meeting that was scheduled at the time, and then will say. Like this was a restaurant job at that time where he said, yeah, you have to pay out your tips to management. Uh, That's way worse than getting dropped from a drop from a call. OK. OK. Uh, but <laughs> yes. And in terms of the cosmic scale of pain. Sure. However, that kind of proves the point that what you did was almost lighthearted. Yeah. You got yeah. to pretty much the end of the interview. Yep. And then either someone is just a 
spiteful dickhead yes. and yeah. wants to just slam the door in your face digitally. Right. Or and with the they're laughing while they're doing it, and then you just are expecting your email to refresh and be like, LOL, you got the job. I guess you are lucky. No, like, I, I there's only up, two ways that that happens. I ended up reaching out to him right afterwards and said... Did you give him the job? Yeah, no. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You should have. But At that I point, get you should back on the line, and I was like, "I am so sorry." Let me tell you, and we both had a really good laugh, and he didn't get. The job. <laughs> You're not getting the job. Oh my god, you are a dickhead! <laughs> oh, asshole. what a hilarious laugh! Hey, well, anyway, we've already filled the position, but we'll give you a resume on file. You three, two, you one, one, click. <laughs> oh my god! You feel lucky, punk. Jesus. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and get a big round of applause for Mr. Darren Kitchen. Hey! Because he's here. He's here. Darren Kitchen is here. Uh, Darren's got a story to tell. Oh. Because uh, we talked in the green room mm -hmm. about you being out uh, in Utah. Yeah. At a hotel mm -hmm. that exclusively had the cast and crew of a brand new movie uh, being shot with Kevin Costner, right. right? Yeah. But one of the nights you're down there, there was a very animated actor, an actor that was that was uh, really, really uh, uh, going on and on and on, and, and you wound up talking to a little bit, right? Just, just a tad. Just a tad. How would you describe this actor? Old. Okay. <laughs> and... Fired up. Fired up. Bald? Yeah. Close cropped hair or bald? I didn't know he was an actor. You didn't know? You no. just thought he was a dude. No, no. The, 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 the whole situation is I close out the bar, which in Utah means 930, and the bartender leans into me and be like, you know who you were just talking to? And that's when I learned I was talking to an actor. You were talking to an actor. <laughs> yeah. What is remarkable... About the, well, actually, yeah, let's talk about what was what was the topic of conversation. What was what was happening? I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. It yeah. wasn't the uranium depository that we were almost camping on. That's that's what I thought the story I was here to share with you was. But no. it turns out, no, it has nothing to do with that. Nobody cares about. That. No one cared. No, nobody cares about the uranium. Wait, I don't even know. Yeah, that was a good one. She wouldn't. She wouldn't camp there with me. Well, yeah, because there was fucking uranium. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't know. Well, but now you know. What are you going to do? Sell it to the Libyans? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be plutonium, my friend. <laughs> oh, Marty, they found me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to camp in BLM land. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you decommission an Athena you know, missile silo, that's what you do. You just make it BLM land so that folks can camp on it. Sure. So but we don't care about that. That's why we okay. ended up at the hotel. Oh, okay. She, because she wouldn't. Your girlfriend. My girlfriend is amazing and will camp with me anywhere. But not on a, a uranium deposit. Not a Cold War era missile launch pad facility that used to shoot off Athena rockets and it might just be full of uranium. Gotcha. So that's how you end up in the Marriott. That's why I'm there. Because I'm like, well. That's how you end up. Just closing down the bar while the sun's still out. <laughs> this is, I mean, it worked out great for me because it's otherwise a dry peanut. So I get to go and have Utah's finest 3.2 beer. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You actually texted me. There was, there was well, I'll, I'll, I'll open up the, uh, uh, the, the things that Darren and I text to each other. A, a furious Darren Kitchen complaining about Utah liquor laws saying, uh, a man, I just watched a man get a drink to take up to his room, and the bartender had to walk the drink from the <laughs> bar to his room. Totally true story. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Embarrassing. At that point, wouldn't even get it to go. I just, like, shoot it. Just, yeah. yeah. Smuggle it back into your room in your tummy. I'm going to have to walk that back. I'm going to have to escort you in that alcohol and that beverage, sir. Yeah. Yep. Meanwhile, everybody else at the bar is like, can, can I get one before you go up to the fourth floor? <laughs> you got to keep room for white Jesus. There you go. Your drink and you. Yep. So the actor. Oh, right, right, right. So I'm so 
So because we can't camp at the uranium nuclear site, yeah, ugh. you're at the bar. I'm at I'm at the bar at the Marriott, uh, which is always a good time because you never know who you're going to run into. Yep. And uh, uh, the gentleman over here is, uh, you know, getting loud and obnoxious about uh, the writers' strike, but not so he's freaking out. Not about the writers though, but yeah. about about the AI that's going to take their jobs. Mm -hmm. Which I, mean, I want everybody to imagine. These words specifically, because you are about to get context that will delight you. So, AI job, like how old the computer? How old do you need to be to be like you know what? Like you're you're get off my lawn territory when you're like the AI is going to take a job. Is uh, was this no, an older I, guy? No, you, you, no, no, no. Sorry, you've been out in the desert for the last month and a half. Yeah, uh, every. 20 something writer in Hollywood is screaming about AI taking their jobs. They are currently on strike and they are yelling about the computers. I, I thought that this was like, I had this thought this entire trope was like a weird, like racism, like other no. people from other countries thing. No, 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 no. This is, this is. They're taking their job. Very, the person for whom you were talking to without realizing who you were talking to. Yeah. Uh, was very much in tune with what is happening right now with the Writers Guild of America strike. Well, clearly, because he's a Hollywood actor, as I... Uh, as you eventually found. He, he's a man... You know, he's a dancer, one might say. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think in the 90s, he danced best uh, with wolves. No, no, no. That's not who I'm talking about. Wait, who are you talking about? There was another actor. Oh, an actor who is well known to our audience. We're not talking about Costner. We're not talking about Costner. No. Wait, Costner was the one yelling about AI? I don't. I, I think. <laughs> oh my but god! The other guy was there. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, bring us home on this. It's, what is going it's, on? It's like Brian's here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about my Jeep. <laughs> oh, he'll do it too. No, there was. Somebody oh. for whom you found out has a connection to this show. It's true. And and you know what? This is the moment where I look at my text log and I'm like, of all the stupid things I'm doing, texting you, bitching about uh, <laughs> 3.2 beer in Utah yes. and like bartenders escorting you to your room, that I did not say, hey, this random stranger I've never seen before, uh, do you happen to know him and uh, have a, a tight connection with? Because yeah. I'm going to do that from now on. From now on. Yes. Because <laughs> now, because the stranger that you were talking to at the bar, yeah. at a random Marriott, almost on Bureau of Land Management land was Michael Rooker. Oh, my God. Michael oh. fucking Rooker. What the fuck? Michael Rooker, well known to this show, has called me his son repeatedly. Uh, 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 put me in a judo hold in uh, Dragon Con. We have known forever. But that dude. Michael Rooker, that was the guy that that you saw at at the bar. That's we are now seeing a hundred percent the guy uh, uh, pictures. So was he the one that was yelling about AI, or was he it Costner? He was the one yelling about the AI. So imagine Rooker and his Rooker. The AI is taking our fucking jobs, <laughs> man. This is bullshit. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I can do the I voice it, because I'm I his son. It, I just. Figured, oh, I'm in a red state, and this is just gonna be a guy that's just like fired up about all the, or you know, like I figured that was just yeah. the, the 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 local color, you know. <laughs> I just figured that was a part of like you thought he was Utah. Just, you thought he was a Utah bar fly. I honestly thought he was just a degenerate. <laughs> I didn't realize he was also an actor. <laughs> wow. Fucking amazing! Fucking amazing! Wow. Uh, uh, Bryce, what else is going on? Uh, 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 okay, I got something here for you. And we're talking about AI. What is, uh, how would you use AI to fix, uh, to rethink the camera? How would you use AI to rethink the camera? We've reimagined the camera using AI. Now it has rounded edges. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how you would, uh, uh I mean, I guess. Like you, let's say, all right, so, all right, here. If I were, are, are, are we serious or are we are we horsing around? Uh, let's say, how would you make a camera with AI but without uh, a lens? No lenses, no glass. Wait, no lenses. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. A camera without AI or with AI but without lenses. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah think uh, about uh, it. You 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 make. 
products for a living. Darren, uh, how would you make a camera? We have replaced the lens with a human interface where you can describe to the camera what you are seeing with your eyes. We call them prompts. And the camera will dispense to you on its viewfinder what it believes mm. you are seeing. No, you put a microphone. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I said prompts. Yeah, there we know? go. Okay, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. A there human we go. interface device. Okay. I'm not going to type. We call it the mind's eye. <laughs> Available now on Kickstarter. Uh, I'll show you. And the it's right before your YouTube video. Oh, that's God. that's where you see it's, it. It's it's a mic. The skip ad button connected to yeah, exactly. the skip ad button. A is mid broken. journey API and a display, but it's considered a like vision camera. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there we go. So okay. Uh, our our bid is a microphone on a box that does mid journey prompts. Okay. Can I? I'll show you the front of this thing. Okay. I'll show you the front of this thing, and let's see if you update your thoughts. What are we looking at? It this. looks like. Uh, there's, if there's somebody a was drawing a butthole in Art Deco. <laughs> a. That's what. That's what it looks like. It is. It yeah. is a ball in the middle, and then a bunch of different what looks to be cat whiskers shooting out of it mm -hmm. okay. or a 3d printed tripod that you might back on Instagram. Okay. So my, my guess is that, that it's taking sound waves. It's like it is receiving sound waves and then it's going to produce a AI generated version of what it thinks the space around it is. All right. Well, I'm going to show you here. Uh, this is their demo. Of the paragraphica, mm -hmm. uh, oh, do you? We we I pause it here on the on the display here. Now, Let me now, see if I can. now, does it have a braille interface? So uh, uh, there's a there's a monitor there's a display in the back and it reads uh, an evening photo taken at Groen von Prinz der Stadt 26. The weather is few clouds with temperature of 16 degrees. The date is Sunday, May 28th. There is a restaurant, Italian restaurant, and Middle Eastern restaurant nearby. Oh, I so it. so it's basically just adding context from the device. It's literally just using it, time and GPS. To oh wait, hold on, wait, 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 no, no, no. They click the button, and it and no, you're right, Darren. It uses it's just GPS. It uses op it uses a bunch of APIs to figure out your location, things that are around you. You tell it how far of a radius. That that it should know about. You give it some some seed data and stuff, and it comes up with an image of what it thinks uh, would would the like here here here's an example right. Uh, this is uh, uh, a picture on the left of the man taking the photo. This is the prompt it generated, and then this is the photo oh. that the mid journey came up with using just the written prompt. A midday photo taken at Amsterdam. The weather is partly cloudy and 18 degrees. It's Wednesday. There's parking and a yoga studio nearby. Uh, and it's kind of close. It, you know, that looks I, So the only thing it's actually using is time and GPS. And because of that, it knows what the weather was yes. and what was around you and then fed that as a prompt to generate a photo. Actually, you know what? I love this. I love this because I have visited like five national parks in the last month and they have become nothing but Instagram like backdrops for influencers and other want to be influencers to like. Get Can you imagine the arch, right? <laughs> These vermin <laughs> scurrying around. <laughs> yeah. In, in any event, uh, if you had something like this, you wouldn't need to get you just be like an insert me and then you too can have the photo at the double arch. Yeah, but you, so you wouldn't have to go there. You wouldn't have to go there because you want less people there. Yeah, pretty That's much. That's your game. My my. Hope, your game is stay away. Yeah. I would like to be there by myself. Look, look Vision Pro is thirty five hundred dollars, but when it comes to Vision <laughs> Air, when Vision Air is yeah. six ninety nine, yeah. and you can put it on and visit all the national parks without leaving your living room, I hope you stay in your living room. Yeah. All right, so are they selling this thing, or is this just some Instagram bullshit? Uh, this is, I think, a DIY sort of. Uh, oh, think, this is like like a proof of concept. Uh, uh, yeah, a guy made this. this a guy, a guy, a guy made this. Some guy. Okay, does he have a Twitter? Can we all just say, "Hey, man, good thing"? 
Uh, and look how he's handsome. I, and he's and he's fucking handsome too. Oh jeez, uh, Bryce. Yorn Carman, I think might be his name. Yorn Carman. Yeah. Sure it is. But uh, the, the, apparently the distinctive front of it is based off of the star-nosed mole, sure. which mm-hmm. lives underground and does not see. But it mm-hmm. does have a, a, a button. He definitely made a hipster-ass website to promote this thing. Well, it's he's into it. He's, you know, he's DIY. When you DIY, you, you get into it. Yeah. Anyway. I mean... I don't know. What you, I, you think he's too much? He's not humble enough. It, no, it's our, maybe it, he's a little big for his britches. Wow. You know, I, and maybe maybe I could just take a picture near him and just say, "Hey, hipster, who's too big for his britches?" And <laughs> and boom, it's all June of a sudden, mid journey yeah. would uh, uh, spit out a handsome man. Spit up, yeah, yeah. I mean, when was the last time mid journey spit out a uh, not handsome or beautiful person? Let's go ahead and get that going right now. If we can have just uh, 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 the ugliest person on the planet <laughs> from Mid Journey, let's just see what Mid Journey uh, uh, considers to be the ugliest person on the planet. Do you think it? Do you think it will? Because a lot of these things have like uh, limits, right? They they won't let you be too mean. Do you think they'll? Well, be- you can't be like you know horrifying, but calling somebody ugly is that that that, that that's used in books. Ugly. I bet you Shakespeare said a character was ugly. Sure. Right? Forsooth, he died yeah. more ugly. If it's good enough for the bard, it's good enough for Mid Journey. <laughs> yeah, we're the same level as it the bard. It sounds like you're, you're using a lot of words and you're not making a Mid Journey photo about ugly people. All right, what is it? The uh, portrait of what is it? The, the w- ugliest person on the planet. Yeah. Yeah, this person. And no, his V. Ve- a L L E. Mid Journey. Yeah. A portrait of the ugliest person. So this is Dolly. I'm going to use Dolly because I have Dolly. We'll, we'll give this a second to generate. Yeah. Who do you think it's going to look like? Do you think Cancel it'll look... Cancel Shakespeare. The cry has gone out from our chat. <laughs> mm. I think it's going to look like Boris Rumsfeld. Johnson. Rumsfeld. It's going to look like Rumsfeld. Yeah, so you say old. Yeah. Old and white. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Brett, what, what do you say? The ugliest person on the planet. Don't look. Uh, I, I would say it'll probably be a white guy. Oh, okay. A white guy. guy. Well, wow, it is really telling. That yeah. Everybody started making very racially specific uh, uh, bets here. I'm gonna say maybe there's like a like a like like a like a mole, maybe like a mole 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 kind of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would say if I were you know being analytical about it, I would say asymmetrical, uh, uh, both body and face. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say probably aged. Uh, uh, I would say probably making a weird face, like uh, uh, wrinkled, gray. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. Blue well, shorts, gray top. <laughs> Let's take probably. a look here. This is what Dolly said: the portrait of the ugliest person on the planet Earth looks like. These are just kind of that's. They're just no. That's not fair. These I will say. I will bogus. say. That's bogus. By oh. the way, two out of the four not white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, it's, that's these are just regular people. So one of them looks fair. like the He's, brother from Breaking Bad. <laughs> I was <laughs> looking for a golem, you know? Yeah. Uh, stroked out Dean Norris on the left. And then, yeah, yeah, stroked out Dean Norris. And then we have a, a woman with a darker complexion next to that. And then a laughing white guy. He definitely no, looks like a senator. That's Chris Christie. Yeah. Oh, okay. It looks like yeah. an aged Chris Christie. Yep. And then uh, a Puerto Rican Bluto. <laughs> oh, hey, wow, give me that olive oil. Yeah, it's a throwback. Yeah, Very that was. Yeah, he spinach. looks like a Puerto Rican Bluto. None of them. Like that's not an ugly dude. That's not ugly at oh. all. If that dude rapped, he would be on MTV in yeah. the '90s. Like, like that's just that, that's a good looking guy. Face. Yeah, I think it's, and I even think the duck face is kind of working for him. He's kind of like a big jaw. Kind of no, big. yeah, like that yeah. would be if he were. Like a, 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 you, a, a, you think he's got a mom tattoo? He he looks like 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 a DJ from the Bronx. Like like it's like 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 Hector doesn't take your shit nine to twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eighty-eight point seven. Yeah, I feel like that. I don't know. Dolly, 
I feel like Mid Journey would do it better. Mid Journey would have done it. Do you do so you have Mid Journey on, uh, on Discord? I don't, but if anyone in the chat uh, is able to do let's that, let's go let in the know. chat. We it just want everybody slow, but... on the AI uh, image generation of your choice. Bryce will just keep flashing them on screen. That's right. Uh, uh, just let's go for the ugliest person on the planet. We want to know what AI believes the ugliest person on the planet is and we will look at them as long as you guys keep making them and don't be cute and take screenshots of all of us right now and yeah. send what you want to know what you want to know what we don't, don't know what mid journey makes we have no idea <laughs> ai is its own process that is divorced from human creativity uh, uh, did we have anything else on, on the agenda here, Bryce? Uh, we had, uh, oh, well, we were talking about, I think you should leave. Uh, oh, I'm just going to make this pitch. A lot of people, Chris Christie's running for president. Mike Pence is going to announce he's running for president. Here's a free idea. The Netflix sketch show, I think you should leave, is the most reliable meme creation device that we have in America. They put out one episode or one season a year. And it's like downloading the programming. All of a sudden, everyone's new memes are from the new season of I Think You Should Leave. It only came out last week. It's already dropped. a real thing. The memes dropped, babe. Yeah, exactly. You got it, shirt brother. Uh, <laughs> I want somebody in the presidential realm to commit to nationalizing I Think You Should Leave so we get <laughs> two seasons a year. Live from America, <laughs> it's. I think you should leave. I'm just saying. I just. We need it for the memes. They, these memes have never been more refreshed than after this shit comes out. I'm telling you, if you ain't seen the show, you need to see the show because otherwise you're gonna be an absolute old jamoke like me talking about Riz and Baby Gronk and not knowing your asshole from your elbow. They should do a baby. Why haven't they done a ba baby? They Gronk did. It's they did it last season. They did? Oh, a buff, they did buff, goose suits, suits, little suits, buff boy. They did little Come on. Oh, we were oh, already oh. there. They, every time you think you have them, Bryce, they're two steps ahead. <laughs> so they're two steps just, ahead. Are you saying we're all just following this? God, here's one ugliest uh, picture. Uh, now, it's just on. a guy saying the kids don't know who Stan is. Wearing a shirt for train pulls into stations. Yeah, I mean, look, that uh, that guy's pretty ugly. So let's just keep him coming. <laughs> the ugliest people as it is created on Mid Journey. Uh, uh, in the meantime, a reminder, patreon.com slash great night is where you need to go if you want to support this program. Look, we're doing a lot of shit here yeah. on this show. One of those things is a, sh uh, a bonus episode that only goes out to patrons each and every Thursday. So how about you come on over? Is that every Thursday? Oh, well, every week. <laughs> every week. Sometimes, doesn't... sometimes they're on Saturday. We... Because <laughs> I forget my laptop at a party. Yeah, I think I think Brian I don't did know have why some... I'm a whispering <laughs> Southern gentleman when I admit my mistakes, but I might have had a few too many and left my laptop. <laughs> My mint juleps and I had a podcast. <laughs> well, you know, I had a tipple or two. And next thing you know, my laptop was left behind. My lips were looser than Lucille Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving my laptop all over the oh, creation. In a, in a hurry to vamoose, I did the Charleston into my car just a little too quick and left my laptop. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, Patreon, patreon.com slash uh, great night is where you can support this, get the bonus episode, get an easy RSS feed with no login stuff, email updates, all sorts of stuff. Patreon.com slash great night. It is one of our country's greatest financial Nationalize my uh, Patreon and give me government money. Uh, uh, hey, Bryce. Hi. We playing a game? We got a game for you today. It's one of our classics. It's one of our favorites. You know it. You love it. It's Apologizes for. <laughs> Didn't I used to have a sounder for this at one point? Yeah, it's a song we ripped off. Yeah, it was. Oh, it's it was too that, late to say you're yes, sorry. Okay, well, pretend I played that. Uh, hello, this is the part. Uh, this is the game where helping out shorthanded. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the game where I've taken some headlines of people apologizing for various foibles that they may have uh, have done. I've blanked out one or multiple words from the headline. You're gonna have to guess what the missing words are, and if you're closest, you're gonna get a point, as determined by our friend Science Darren. You want to join us? Absolutely. Justin, you want to play? I am legally obligated to. Brett, do you mind keeping score for us? I would do that. 
Oh, thank you. Will you? I will. Oh, wait, hold on. We have uh, another uh, ugly picture. Ah, uh, sure. This here one we go. from Mid Journey here. Yeah. Phil Mathras here giving us the. Mm -hmm. What the? What is this? Oh, I think. Ski? Asky? Oh, I think this is. I don't know if you're. If you can. Uh, yeah, I think that that. That's, yeah. That. That's just the Mid Journey screen. Don't worry. You want to know what? We're going to keep it going. That's fine. Keep I think, rolling. I think someone's trying to send us a job application for that. Uh, okay. So our first headline here, this is so easy. We know how it's going. Bah, bah, bah. Fill in the blank for me here. We're going to start with Justin on this. Colts, Isaiah Rogers apologizes for blank investigation. Can I pass this one to, to Darren? Oh, yeah. Actually, actually, Darren, you have to take this one first. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, right. yeah. I was, I was hoping Good that catch. you would. Good catch. Yeah. Because I'm, yeah. I'm a big fan. Of, Huge sports fan. Um, oh, sports. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. You had no idea what, who the Colts were. Uh, I do have a little bit of extra information for you if you'd like to listen Please. to it. Uh, quote, the last thing I ever wanted to do was be a distraction to the Colts organization, my coaches, and my teammates. I've uh, let people down that I care you about. You would have known sports. Yeah. Said Colts quarterback, Rogers Sr., Colts, Isaiah Rogers apologizes for blank investigation. What do you think he might get investigated for? In investigated. And he's apologizing. So he's, he was busted. He's like, so he's, he was, he's, he's not he's, denying he knows, it. He knows, he knows like, mm, you know? Yeah. Yeah. This was probably across the line. Yep. But not the line where we, we, we score three points. <laughs> Technically, uh, that can, can happen. Yes, yeah, you can. That okay, can happen. Yes. Put it on. Yeah, put but, it on. Uh, but maybe I shouldn't be moonlighting. Okay. Because I'm contractually obligated to be the uh, quarterback. Uh -huh. Corner, cornerback. And I can't Close enough. possibly be in two places at once. And so he would be moonlighting as which a... Which is why I should not be in the off-field... With pom poms, so he was trying to also be a cheerleader for the other team. for the other team. Oh no, you can't do that! Can't do that shit, my not guy. The, not against the home team. Can't do that shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, I would apologize for that. Cheerleading for the opposing team. All right, yeah. oh, there we go. I'll write that down. Justin Colts Isaiah Rogers apologizes for what investigation? Let us know. Gambling. For gambling! <laughs> How is that a crime? I'll just go ahead and flip this now. I mean, uh, it, well, because was it, <laughs> was it Honey Bear? <laughs> no, it was not Honey Bear, the uh, slot machine that we played in the Bahamas. No, it was uh, uh, gambling on his own team's game. He was oh, that's gambling not on cool football. Yeah. You have a direct influence on how your game is yeah, going to go. Yeah, now you I can see. see how that's now you problematic. See. He was fucking betting on football. He plays football. Yeah. Stupid mm. idiot. Oh, jeez. This is a next this on a next one. on first take. <laughs> 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 this is a real clear cut one. IMO. All right, that's a point to Justin on this one. All right, hey, we, we got we got some ugly people. Let's look at some oh. ugly people in between these. Yes, here we go. Uh, this is one. Uh, ooh, ooh. Those yeah. So there. these yeah. are more gollumy. These are. I, see, I caught it. I, I caught it as gollum. Yeah, these are 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 people that uh, some of them look supernatural. Like they are they are ooh. like kind of swamp the one creatures. The bottom right looks like someone. Do oh, we know that person? He, inconceivable. Yeah, it looks like that. the dude from uh, Princess Bride. Uh, that's what I am. Sean. Mm. Kind of savable. Yeah. Uh, Whereas the dude in the top left, I think they get uglier as they go. Top left, ugliest. Like, how many teeth is that? Is that two rows that's, of teeth? Yeah, like three rows of teeth, Bloody. and it looks like a uh, fish fin phasing it out of the third row of teeth that he has. Yeah. He has lovely ears, though. They're great ears, and they're one of a kind. Uh, here's also this one from Lon makes the portrait of the least attractive person on earth. This one's a uh, less crazy. That's I, just just Timothy Chalamet. There's kind of yeah. a lot of Timothys, huh? Yeah, there's, like that, that's that all right, that's Wes Chalamet. Anderson on the right. Yeah. Oh, that you don't. Yeah, I thought that's Beck. That kind of looks Becky. That, well, they're Could close. They're, yeah. they're they're close. mostly the, the, same the left person. is actually just a picture of Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. The bottom uh, right's my CPA. That's not fair. <laughs> That's the G-Man. That's the G-Man if they put him in the new Unreal Engine. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, Go on. Yeah. Now. And then uh, uh, I, I think I think the guy on the left is Taylor Swift's new boyfriend. <laughs> That's no. Right. The new guy. No. Yes, yeah, the new Tumblr hot guy. Oh, you know what? Yes. Actually, very, very much like Tumblr, Tumblr hot guy. Who's Tumblr hot guy? Just 
generally hot guys on tumblr.com oh no just oh there's not like a guy yes. like we're not we're not baby gronking this this it's is just a, a general yeah. a general uh tumblr hot guy exactly uh okay so that was a point to justin our tumblr hot guy yes justin we're gonna start with you on this one remember to reblog um <laughs> They do. They still do that, don't you know? Uh, ba, 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 publisher apologizes for using blank in Duke Nukem promo. Mm. Mm. What are you thinking? Where, where you, where's your head? Going? Well, all right. So a Duke Nukem promo. Uh, you can never go wrong with Nazi in this game. What? People accidentally wrong throw game. Nazis wrong in shit. Game. I know. Normally it's Wolfenstein, right? But Duke yep. Nukem. Duke Nukem is a little bit meta. It, right, it's, it's more of a like. Is that a white bronco? Mm. Mm. Is that a the juice, shit, baby? I'm gonna say curse words. Curse, curse words. Oh, we do curse have a little words. bit of information. Oh yeah, give me that. Blaze Entertainment's apology press release uh, included. Well, we would like to apologize to you, all of the fans who have felt passionately ab about this enough, and please be assured are working to remedy this. We would also like to thank everyone who's worked on the project to date for their input. Publisher apologizes for you. I'm changing this. It, yeah. Now that I know that it's a fan outcry and it's Duke Nukem fans that are screaming about it, covered breasts. Covered breasts? Yes, they wanted them uncovered. I mean, they, they, they were needed always nips. covered. Even the pixelated ones were... Yeah, with but these guys, pixels. they're like, it's 2023. We're Duke Nukem fans. Yeah. Free the nipple. All right. I mean, it Aaron. might be time. It might be time. Ah, it's... it's Play, uh, excuse me. Publisher apologizes for using blank in Duke Nukem Ooh. promo. Could and this a, is the Duke. Could it be the, like, the pig... That's the LAPD officer because it's like a little. Oh too, you yeah, know, maybe that, that maybe now that's that's a little over the line. Like, oh hey buddy, oh. Kinda, you know like blue now, lives now Duke matter. Nukem fans are kind of back the blue culturally. Yeah, yeah. Could like, be. back then they were I, like, right? stop arresting me for skateboarding, and now they're like, you're going. To I'm jail. yelling. My, about, I'm yelling. I'm, I'm not yelling about the BLM that Darren is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My American flag is black and white, except for that one stripe. Pick a color. Yeah. You I know what? I should make every stripe a different color. Then it would be fruity rainbow. Wait, no shit. I've gone too far. I have. I have a black and white flag with one blue stripe and fifty <laughs> Punisher logos. <laughs> <laughs> and I see Darren Kitchen's van, and I give him the thumbs up. Yeah, cool guy. <laughs> All right, Dan, this is going to you. Publisher apologizes for using blank. Is that a cappuccino machine in there? Yeah, your publisher apologizes for uh, uh, portraying the LAPD, the fine officers that they are, uh, as space pigs. Okay, the LAPD cop pigs. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Those are your answers. Let's find out what we were looking for. Publisher apologizes for using AI in Duke Nukem promo. That's right. Uh, wow. How quaint! How <laughs> quaint of the of of of, 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 of the Duke Nukem We're fan base. Sorry, we got lazy and didn't know what to use put on the AI. poster. So anyway, before we get to that, can we look at more AI pictures of ugly people? Oh yeah, uh, Bill Meeks sent this one along. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh Justin, this one is very. Funny yeah, though. there we go. That is uh, uh, a very emaciated monkey face. You look like a Resident Evil zombie. I do. This oh. was a a collegiate picture of me uh, that is made to look even more disheveled than I did back then. Um, uh, so this is actually the image that uh, folks were upset about. So I guess they commissioned an artist to pr to create some some art and assets for this upcoming Duke Nukem collection. I think at first blush, at first blush, this picture looks okay, right? I mean, it's, sure, yeah, it looks yeah, like like Duke Nukem fan fiction, sure. But but you like. You look at like the hands, and yeah. those hands don't kind of make any sense. You look at the no, gun. No, yeah, I, the hand, the fingers going into the gun. Uh, the guns. A lot of the perspectives are not quite right. A lot of finger stuff. There's only four fingers here. Some of the legs. The legs kind of don't. Just kind of like more thin. The they just stop. Yeah. See, this so, is why you don't go to Fiverr for your, uh, you know, Activision is it Activision for your no, game it's, release. It's an indie, an indie oh. thing, right? Wait, so, so, so they, is is the issue that they lied and said that they hired a artist, but they actually just 
did what we are doing on the fly for ugly people on Mid Journey? Well, so they commissioned an artist who is defined who defines himself as a quote professional hybrid concept artist, mm. um, whose work mm. does have a lot of AI generated artwork in his gallery, which is his decision. So wait, oh, so they fucked up twice. They paid a dude to do some shit, and that dude just did shitty AI stuff and turned it in. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, dude. Well, they, we should be apologizing to them that they got their lunch money taken. <laughs> like, like why, why are people being mad at them when they got hosed? Well, because, uh, you know, uh, his, you can, t I, I mean, he calls himself a hybrid concept artist. I think the idea is that you knew going into it that this person, I guess, Uses a lot of AI. I, I, you know what? I'm just kind of following the headlines on this one. Yeah, Maybe if the you community know what? can let us know. Had they, they could have been done ditty. this. They could have had their cake and eat it too. They yeah. could have gotten the AI hybrid artist to do mm -hmm. this, and they could have just scaled it down to 640 by 480 if you had a good graphics card, mm. and <laughs> left the uh, uh, resizing at a, a bilinear pixelation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Or, or nearest neighbor for that matter, and then turned off any isotropic filtering, and they would have had a really shitty graphic that they could pass off as something retro. Oh, look at that. You blur it up a little bit, mm -hmm. a little bit, you know? Maybe, maybe you got something And it there. looks like blurry shit. <laughs> yeah. Just like FPS boobies of the day. There we go. There, there we go. go. Okay, so uh, we oh we were playing a game here. Your answers uh, had been covered breasts in LAPD cop pigs. Mm, we were looking for. I didn't see any nipples. Uh, I didn't see any pigs. Oh. Uh, or did we? See, or were there some tootsies? Well, no, I, I I saw covered nipples. That was what my thing was. They were apologizing <laughs> oh, oh, for the covered nipples. Oh, I oh I, okay. I, I saw I saw. I don't see any with, pigs, but I, I don't I mean, see. I, 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 I don't see guns. He's got a lot of guns. I mean, they just keep like shoveling stuff from the military into. Let's the go to science. Force. Let's go to science on this one. Let me put this in the science machine. Beep boop beep shh. Beep 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 beep. All right, we've got an answer here, and that point goes to Darren Kitchen. Oh, what the fuck! Get uh, out of here! Get out of here! Out, it turns out science was uh, letting us know that in the, while the breasts may be covered, they're very small. They're very tiny, very tiny boobies. On back, Mr. back, Newcomb. back the blue milk. Mm. Back, back the bloom. Now, yeah, can we break know. that one down a little bit for a second? I don't know. It's like a Star it, Wars thing. I was gonna say. I was trying to think of a way to do a joke think, about uh, police in 2023, and yeah. I figured the only way to neuter it was to ham-fistedly sew it to a Star Wars deep cut. Mm. Uh, I'm not saying I'm proud of it. No. I'm saying that it happened. I'm saying Aunt Beru agrees. That's right. Okay, we're gonna go to our next one here. Our next, uh, our next apologizes for Justin. We'll start with, or no, uh, I think we'll start with Darren on this one. Darren, oh, where's my thing? Why is it going to sleep? Darren, CNN's Chris Licht apologizes for being blank, 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 blank. He may have bigger problems. Mm. Wow. Do, do you know? I, I cannot believe that Chris Licked, Licked would uh, have to, yep. to have to do that. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's it's all coming clear just as soon as you give me the hint, including the answer. Sure. Uh, uh, Chris said, and I'm and for that I am sorry. He went on to tell staff that quote, "Your work is what should be written about, and I should not be in the news unless it's taking arrows for you." CNN's Chris Licht apologizes for being blank, 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 blank. He may have bigger problems. Do it. Does oh. anybody know Chris Licht? Are we licking the Chris's, anybody? Uh, yes. Mm. Okay. You do. I do. You've yeah. seen this guy. Uh, I have. Do you I watch? Have followed the, his work. Yes. You like watch the Sunday shows and then condense them into a format that somebody could listen to and understand on a. Maybe oh. for mm. money. Oh, you. Oh, uh, is that is that like a Patreon? Patreon, Patreon exclusive for PX3. Although Chris Licht oh. is not on the Sunday shows. Oh. But what did he, he is involved with one of the Sunday shows? Yeah, fair, fair. But is, he, is this he past, is upstairs? This is a he past is upstairs. tense. This is a past tense. No, 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 no. You like licked someone's cupcake? <laughs> well, no, that's called dibs. No, oh. unfortunately, that's L I C H T. 
Yeah. You have no idea how much I'm working overtime. Like, if you get close <laughs> to my head, you can hear like when a computer is like like making that like just like, like cracking sound. Uh, on, only because I'm so desperately trying to think of a joke that involves Chris Licht, the the uh, current boss at CNN. <laughs> And Washington Post columnist and frequent guest on the Sunday shows, Dan Balls. Ah! And I can't, so I punted. Li- the, uh, That's this Sunday, I, Lick I, Dan I, Balls. I, 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 I'm trying to think of like mm. a headline, and the best I could come up with was Balls, colon, Chris Licked. <laughs> See, that, this, no, that's, this, that's this just is a why, Sunday. Yeah. This is why you have a wonderful chat room. Crowdsource it, you know? Well, Justin, I, I don't really know. Think, no, no, no. Justin, I think you're going to get a good laugh. Nobody will do it now. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, you're right. You're right. I've ruined the gag. All right. Can you make a guess? Make, a guess? make a guess. Yeah, make a guess. of course. Of course. He is plagiarized the New York Times by reading. Ver- right, you already you are, uh, wait, plagiarized fine. the New York. Wait, wait, wait. As far wait, as you wait, got. It's really got to be like four words. It's four words. Oh, oh, oh. CNN's Chris Licht apologizes for being blank, 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 blank. He may have bigger problems. Unapologetically plagiarizing journalist bitches. <laughs> I was going to say, you left one word for journalist, and I couldn't think of a single journalist. It's like, for plagiarizing Shakira? Shakira. Like- <laughs> <laughs> His hips don't lie. <laughs> Justin, what about you? Uh, CNN's Chris Licht apologizes for being blank, 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 blank. He may have bigger problems. Profiled by The Atlantic. Profiled Ooh. by The Atlantic. And what was that profile? Uh, it was fucking embarrassing. He let a guy from The Atlantic follow him around for like months. Uh, and now he's probably going to lose his job for it. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. I feel I like you like digest the news. Yeah. They, I mean, like, I, like these are unfortunate <laughs> for me to be involved with because I actually know these stories. Uh, and, 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 then, and then when you digest this, like, what do you do with that information oh once God. it's in your, your think tank? I squirted out a star-shaped hole in my mouth <laughs> into oh. your ears if you download politics, politics, politics. That's, that's what happened. Yeah. Uh, there's an RSS I'm feed like, for that. Just like a gigantic Play-Doh mold. <laughs> just, you put like the, the, the plunger in the top of my head and then it just comes out into your ears and your car while you're making dinner. Uh, if you download politics, politics, politics. Is this this why is I, why my downloads have gone down since 2000. Yeah. Yeah. That, okay. Or 2020, sorry. <laughs> for 23 years yeah. straight. Yeah. <laughs> for 23 <laughs> years. I've been. Okay. Uh, we've got your answers here. We were looking for. CNN's Chris Licht apologizes for being the center of attention. Because of that Atlantic article. Yeah, yeah apparently, uh, it, what was it? He was saying like, hey, uh, gin up the news to be more Trumpy so that we get more ratings. Something like that. Uh, was that I, the short version? Did I give you the short version on that? Is that uh, enough to, to be digest? totally honest, this is much like last week. In fact, update on last week. Last week, we had a conversation about a Theranos story that I did not read because I was not <laughs> subscribed to the New York Times, <laughs> only for me to find out the day after the show came out, I am subscribed to the New York Times. <laughs> I'm subscribed to the New York Times for their Wordle uh, uh, thing. Wait, Wait uh, but, so you pay for games and news. Interesting. Oh, they're different things? Yeah. Oh, then that's why I didn't read it. Yeah. Okay. I th- I thought they only got you for... Oh, no. They get you for for news, for games, for cooking. Cooking is its own okay. thing. Oh, Wire- Jesus. Yeah, it's a whole... Wirecutter is its own thing? It's. I don't think it's a subscription, but they're fucking with that, too. They're fucking with that. Re- they're fucking with that all. All right, good. Yeah, no. Then I still don't have access to it. No, I only have access to games. Uh, uh, but, yeah, I have not read that that feature despite the fact that i'm sure it's really good and i know it's getting him in trouble because i do not want to subscribe to the fucking atlantic <laughs> all right uh well let's subscribe to brett and see if he can tell us what the score is i can tell you what the score is well then please do so all right well our friend darren has one point i'm number one good for getting on the board with him and uh our friend justin he's rocking it with two mm. rocking the two mm. yeah. still anybody's game Yep. As we go Plagiarizing our- journalism, bitches. <laughs> That's right. Unapologetic. Unapologetically plagiarizing journalists. Justin, we're starting with you on this one. The headline. Yep. 
Has Principal Steiner reprimanded? Apologizes for calling race stewards blank. Oh my god. Has Principal Steiner yeah. reprimanded? Apologizing for calling race stewards. Oh. I think this is probably about race cars. Oh, oh like NASCAR or, or Formula F1. One. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Has I Principal really Steiner needed to, reprimanded? Yeah. Definitely needed to save on that one. Blank. Yeah, yeah, J. Bud, thank you. Has uh, Principal I... Steiner reprimanded? Apologies for calling Ray Stewart's well spoken. <laughs> Do you mind using it in a sentence, please? Well, I've got some information here. Steiner said, quote, I had not intended to offend anyone and that my use of certain words could have been open to misinterpretation or misunderstood by some people. Has Principal Steiner reprimanded for, uh, apologizes for calling race stewards Whose blank. turn is it? We're going to yeah. start with uh, Darren Kitchen on this one. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm a big DK. fan of the uh, H-A-A-S. Haas. Haas. We Do you know, know Haas? Haas. Haas. As, as Haas, Haas as Principal Steiner. Fans of Haas, we know that stands for <clears throat> Haas. Ha <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. That's right. Haas, yeah. Principal that's Steiner. What it, yeah. Uh, uh, that's look. what I thought. I was just making sure you knew. Mm-hmm. Because it would be embarrassing if we got to your answer and like I hadn't telegraphed that to you to mm -hmm. make sure you are on the same page. I, I wouldn't want you to lose this, Justin. Oh, no. I know how important this is. Yeah. To you. you play this game every week. I really Brian, rely on it for my and, own uh, personal uh, self-esteem. Yeah. And this is yeah. one of those weeks where if you win, it's only because Brian isn't here and not because of my weakness. No, no. Darren, what's your guess? Darren has Principal Steiner reprimanded. Apologizes for calling race stewards blank. What did he call them? Just one word. What did he call them? Well, I know from my time in MotoGP uh -huh. that around the pits, you get by pretty quickly mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you have a, a, a specific kind of vehicle that could be taken out of context if you were not a motorcycle enthusiast and so uh, uh other race stewards would probably already know yeah but anybody tuned in that wasn't would probably hear the term monkey bike and maybe think they were talking about something else got you okay so they would, would be calling like race stewards monkey. 100 cc or lower okay oh. Oh. okay so okay Hey, he called us to race stewards monkey bikes. Monkey monkey bikes. Monkey bikes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Principal not, Steiner. Not a, a race steward at this time of year. <laughs> located entirely in your kitchen. Can I see? Yes. No. <laughs> no. Has Principal Steiner reprimanded? What 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 are you thinking, Justin? Take us into Has Principal Steiner's head. Oh, he's just saying, oh, look at all these race stewards. They're so fat. I think they called him fat. Oh, he called him fat. Yeah. Yeah, they're just sitting. Yeah. Just sitting. I don't know. Maybe he like thought that they were like, like, oh, I meant it as a sign of health. You know, like in a bygone era, that was how you determined wealth. It was by being fat. Yeah. Sure. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I'm trying to act like what, uh, what, what, do you, what do you look at me? You can't look at me and say we're guessing what these people apologize for because they did something fucked up. So when we say things that we're guessing the fucked up things that they said, you can't look at me and say, oh, you said something fucked up. That's illegal. No, no I, I don't know. Double jeopardy. I don't know. I don't know. Double no. jeopardy. I don't know. I feel Call like... Ashley Judd. <laughs> you got there very quickly, though. I'm just saying. I, I Okay. It, I don't need your. I don't need. Okay. I don't okay. need your gaze. And now it's June. It is, you gotta, fuck, God damn it. No, no, you gotta no, keep, you gotta not keep only are you right, you, you took my joke. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Uh, sorry. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. One of you said fat, one of you said monkey bikes. We were looking for the Haas. Principal Steiner was reprimanded. He apologized for calling race stewards laymen. Laymen. Ooh. Wow. I... I I'm. I, I can't believe we're tied up. That I easily. know. Well, here uh, we go. Wait, no, we got to throw that makes, one to science. A lot of we got to throw this one to science. When you really oh, yeah. think right, about it, right, set up the science machine. Boop, 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 boop. 
Beep, beep, beep. A lot of people don't let you hear their science. No. It's like a security thing. Beep, beep. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. A lot of science doesn't fucking call themselves out. All right. That goes to Justin. Hey. Oh. Those fat stewards really should have should have gotten it. Uh, no, he, he got in trouble because he said, uh, hey, you don't pay those people. And so there's no like accountability. Um, and they, they said, cool. Uh, all right, after that. Wait, many- what? What the fuck is a Haas race Steiner principle? Ah, yes. Uh, ha- Haas F1 is the name of the is the name of an American F1 team. Okay, yeah. run by Gunter Steiner, uh, uh, named after the CNC routing company Haas. Uh, he's a he, he he's he's like the who is he Austrian? Bryce Paws accent. Sorry, I asked. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Mia culpa. He's the one that says wanker a lot. All right, uh, Brett, what is the score? Well, it has not moved very much, but it has moved. Darren still is on the board with Number one. Number one. Uh Ichiban. Justin, with all of his racism, is Mm -hmm. uh, number three. He's got three points. I mean, we're talking about F1. Yep. Yeah. It's a critical race. Critical, uh, yep. Race in it. Critical race yep. in theory. Get on the Patreon. Critical All right. Race. Couple more here. Turn left. Well, it's okay. Uh, so, a uh, couple more here. Uh, Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Yep. Here's your headline New Love Island contestant apologizes for blank tweets. Mm-hmm. An oldie but a goodie. New uh, Love mm-hmm. Island contestant apologizes for. Are you watching Love Island? Are you a Love Islander? Uh, I'm, a, I'm more of a MILF Island fan myself. Did they air that one that was actually MILF Island? Yeah. Bryce? It, yeah, it's on Pluto. Did they for real? It's on, yeah, no. Oh, no, it's on HBO Max. Thing. It's on this Max. This is a real I thing. Actually, like Tina Fey, like made my dreams come true. So she did not do it. It was done ironically, but the the trailer for it, which went viral, is like a bunch of women that are not the like typical yeah. 18 to 25 dating game mm-hmm. crowd, right? So a bit older. And they're like, like it's about time that we let loose. Woo! Like, who's got the tequila? So they're doing, like, all the yeah. crazy shit. And it's like, like, and then the hot guys show up. And there's, like, a record scratch moment where they're like, Jamie, Jamie, what are you doing here? And you find out that all their sons, no, their hot sons, what? are the contestants. So no. they have to like be around while their son is trying to bang other cougars. No, it's yeah. real. Oh, that's and it's, brilliant. It's, and it's 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 a little fu- like good. Like find love. It's a little fucked up. Have you watched it? I watched the first and last episode as I you Bryce sliced <laughs> it. I Bryce sliced it. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> it's it's weird. They must go places on that show. There's a lot of episodes. Are, are there like a like a, like uh, I would imagine when you get to the end of the final episode, there's just a lot of thousand eyed there thousand yard stares of like I don't know. I guess is it worth it to win? <laughs> uh-huh. You do you do get that. You do get a certain like oh they really got worn down by the end of this two week uh, shoot. Yeah. Uh, all right, G- give us the thing again. Oh yes, uh, Justin, we're starting with you. New Love Island contestant apologizes for blank tweets. Mm. Always the tweets, isn't it? Um, apologizes for cop tweets. Oh, you think you got cop tweets? Yeah, a lot of uh, uh back the blue milk, back the blue milk, back yeah. the blue. Yeah, you want to know? What? I went back there. Still nothing. Still didn't have turns anything. Out, turns out still an empty shed. Just I left. <laughs> I went around the block. <laughs> I came back and I opened the same shed. Up, oh, shit. Still empty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, new Love Island contestant apologizes for cop tweet. What's a cop tweet? Uh, uh, it's about time that we stuck up for the people who stick up for us. I want to let everybody. And then something ugly about a thing that happened. And, and they're like. And oh, this like person what? didn't deserve it. This other person didn't deserve it. And, and you know, the shit that gets Twitter mad. Like, it doesn't have to actually be that big of a thing. It just has to be a thing that gets Twitter mad, which is something very, very small. Are there, are there space pigs from Duke Nukem on this? Cop yes. For the sake time, of Matt. moving the conversation along. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Darren, what about you? New Love Island contestant apologizes for blank tweets. If I know anything from this game, it's that it's either AI 
or it's <laughs> or it's racist. Yeah. Uh -huh. Although, how racist could AI be? Because they put safeguards on that, don't they? Well, but know, it's in, tech in, bros. Yeah. In 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 D A N. Yeah. So so could it could technically be in trouble for racist AI tweet. Yeah. Although there's a lot of ways to interpret that. Are you racist against AI? But this is a Love Island contestant. Like, like we don't we don't suspect that they're yeah. you know in, 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 in a seed round for a new startup. Like, like these guys are usually, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I get it. I get it. I've seen they're, Disney. They're, I've they're seen Disney Plus. They are they are their cultural worth is right there in front of you. Come on. <laughs> Perfect. Do you think it could be nepotism, considering what we heard about earlier? Oh, nepotism okay. tweets? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good call. I, I I think I might go with... It's either racism or nepotism. It's an ism. It's going to be an ism. It's Twitter. I, it's up Twitter. To it's up to you. Make, You're make not going to go with, like, fat tweets. He no, it's a cop. cop tweets. Yeah, cop tweets. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Working all right. on some cop tweets. <laughs> I'm going with nepotism. All right, nepotism. you go with nepotism. What is? Uh, I would love to make a nepotism tweet. Just be like, you want to try it right now? Yeah, let's come up with. Go one. onto your Twitter. Okay. Pull up your Twitter. I'll do it on the Great Night one. How about that? No, it should be yours personally. <laughs> I, I, I don't think we're too prepared to do that at the moment. Okay, sure. All right, yeah. Yeah, we'll do it on the Great Night one. Okay. So, uh, um, well, first, the thing about a nepotism tweet is you have to find somebody who is benefiting from it. Oh, good point. I hadn't thought oh. this through. So you want to usually yeah. what you want to do is go for somebody that nobody really knows, but is maybe getting their first taste of fame. Like mm. they've got kind of their first big gig. Yeah. And then you shit all over them by saying that at one point their mother or father did a thing. So if you're you're like, follow my son at blah, blah, blah. And the next week, but his mother is a piece of crap. No, it's like. You're watching Stranger Things and you're like, oh, that new character is kind of fun. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, it's it's Maya Hawk. She has a famous mother and a father with Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawk. Wait, what? And then you're like, hey, fuck her. She didn't deserve to be on this show. Should have given it to somebody who didn't come out of a famous uh, oh, nuts can I, or ovary. Can I change my can I change my answer? Yeah. Uh, yes, you may. Yeah. An OnlyFans link. Oh capitalizing oh. on the Only reality tweet. TV. Good answer. Good answer. Right? Good answer. Right? Good, answer. Good answer. Good answer. All right. There we go. All right. We've got your answers here. Good answers. They may be. Justin said cop tweets. Darren said only fan link tweets. Folks, we were looking for the new Love Island Tessin has apologized for his homophobic tweet. Oh. Only fans or cops. This is going to be an interesting one. We're going to have to put this one in the science machine. Is it more sex or violence? Probably more sex when I say it like that. <laughs> Although you ever go back and watch old TV shows from like the late 90s, early 2000s, yeah. and you hear like, they're like, oh, it's so gay. And you're like, wait, what? Oh, if, it's, if, like, it's, if, it's, if it's gay, what? it's on the lighter end. <laughs> right? Back in the day, they would just drop the F slur for like no reason. I'm like, when are they going to get rid of Chevy Chase? <laughs> <laughs> All like, right. He's having that shit on Cheers. <laughs> like, uh, that point and the game. And also that was for 10 points because of Justin Robert. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! I can't show the tweets uh, on stream because it would be terms of service, but here are some of them. Oh, yeah. it's like a show from the 80s. I like that one. So yeah. there we yeah. go. Uh, yeah. So there we go. Radio uh, killed the radio star. <laughs> uh, well, right. no, 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 no. That's another word from the 80s that had two Gs in it. There you uh, go. The Buggles. Uh, with 13 points, your winner is Justin Robert. Oh! If you have an idea for a game, please email it to us, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank uh, Darren Kitchen for uh, coming all the way out here. Mm -hmm. Woo, I, Darren uh, Kitchen! Thank you. I, I, I learned I was going to be on the show about an hour and a half ago. I want to remind everybody, head on over to Gigstan, G-I-G-S-T-A-N. You can download the app, buy tickets for our show. It's June 30th. Uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, go ahead and, and get it. I got a really good feeling that it's going to be in an awesome venue ah. in Austin. Ah. It's going to be an absolute blast. 
We have never done a live show out here in, in one of the, the cities with the most capacity for these kind of rooms. Uh, head on over there. Get your tickets. The faster we sell these, the earlier we sell these, the more everything comes together. Uh, they're relying on us because they know we have an audience, and we're giving you guys a little bit of time. I know normally we're not the best at planning. <laughs> uh, at, at least this time we're giving you a little bit of time and uh, making you jump through hoops. We're basically telling you what day it is. June 30th. June 30th. Anyway, uh, uh, hey, what do we learn? We have learned. Oh, it's been a great night. Bryce gets surprisingly spicy when it comes to sports betting. Didn't, didn't know that. Uh, we also learned that there's a person named Chris Licht. I'm delighted. I'm delighted. And for, we, for now, he's about to lose his job. And I just realized that Brian's not here. I thought what? Yeah. I thought he was here. Not here. Brian is not here. Where is he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was he gone this whole time? Yeah. Darren, is he not back there? No. I oh. thought Darren's, he was about to yeah, make Yeah, Darren, Darren's here. doing a bit where he's looking inside Just the, the curtains. curtains. Uh, until next time, it's been a great night. Shine on, you crazy diamonds.